hello friends welcome back to my youtube channel test automation lab so in the last video we learned okay we created uh, our uh, grid selenium grid uh, using docker and then uh, i have uh, you know two chrome and one uh, firefox uh, instances here so let's refresh it again and see okay so i have this much right so let me see now what i will do is I will say docker compose c o m p compose down. Let's see, we don't want it. So, so it's stopping the containers. Now, if you say docker ps, so there is nothing. But if you say docker images, so still we have the image okay friends so we just now if you go here and refresh it now we don't have our uh, grid running okay so if you want to do it again it is very easy just uh, just okay. so what you have to do you have, you can just go here and you can just say docker compose oh that's it so if you say this minus d maybe so if you say this so since we already have the image now it's up and running again so if you go again here and refresh this so see we have but we have only let's see what's the problem okay we have firefox and we have chrome both are there okay so now suppose we want to execute our test which is in the selenium right which is the selenium script in our physical machine and we want to run this test in the grid that we created using the docker okay so that is the virtual machine we will execute we will invoke our script from here but it will execute there so for that friends we have to make some changes in our this base test okay so for that we have to provide okay what is the my host so let me tell you what is that string host right now my host is localhost right what does this mean is okay where is my grid running oh where is my host where is my grid running so it's running in the local host sometimes it may be your grid infrastructure that we created using the docker compose file maybe it is running somewhere else so wherever it is running you have to provide the ip address of that but since in our case it is localhost so we said localhost okay now what else what else we need so we also need the browsers which browser so right now if you see we are saying driver dot driver is new is driver but we don't want this we want whatever browser user will provide and if they are not providing we will say some default browser so let's see what is that and also we said system dot set property right this is a path of this is driver dot exe and we don't need it all because we are not going to execute in our machine we are going to execute it in um in the remote machine like the virtual machine the container that we created so what else we want okay we want uh desired capabilities right friends so I will say desired capabilities here okay. and then let's say if suppose no user is, has not provided any browser so we'll say desired capabilities is Chrome so by default it will execute in the Chrome but if user has provided some uh, some browser then we have to do that so let's say if if s y s t e m system dot get property so get property if system dot get property browser p r o w s e r if system dot get property browser is not equal to null okay so means somebody has provided the browser it means the browser is not null like uh, if you are executing and we have provided the browser then it has to take that browser right so if it is not null and we will say okay and system dot get property system dot get property um, browser Oh. 
dot equals ignore case if this is firefox let's say it's firefox if this is firefox okay then we have to do something here okay so we are saying okay if system is not null and system dot get property is firefox then we are going to say but why this error is there not none syntax is this um, okay i think we don't need it here right yeah good so now then we will say okay desired capabilities dc is equal to dsi desired capabilities yes dot firefox so if user has provided the firefox we will take that we will just overwrite this dc desired capabilities chrome with the firefox but suppose they have not provided then we will assume okay he wants to execute in the chrome okay and suppose he has provided the chrome then anyway it will go here and it will see it's not firefox so anyway the by default is chrome so now we are good with the browser now let's see user can provide the host also if he don't want to execute in the local host and he will provide some host so we will say okay if as why as if system dot get property okay hub hub host okay if this is not null not null so is not equal to null good so if this is not equal to null then i want host is equal to host is equal to system as why yes tem system dot get property then i want whatever host he has provided right h u b hub host but if he has not provided anything we will take the local host but if he has provided anything we will take that host okay so now we have created the host what else so our this grid selenium grid that we created is running in the local host right so we have to provide this full url okay so how we'll do that okay so let's create the one variable string complete url okay this complete url is h h t t p slash slash plus host h o s t host plus okay so the url will be come uh, http whatever host like it's a local host or maybe so, some user has provided some host and then we have to append with this port 4444 right that's where we we are doing that and the full url is like this hub okay so this is the full url where our grid is running now what else so now we have to initialize our driver so this dot driver is equal to new remote web driver so here we have to provide the url okay new url we have to provide the url and then we have to provide the capabilities so it's saying somewhere right import uh, url okay now here the url is this complete url okay so let's try it complete url saying to throws the declaration okay let's do that now it's good okay so now we have our everything is good so this is the change that we have we have to made in our base test where we are we have the before test annotation right now let me go to the test in xml 
so friends i think everything is good let's try to execute and see what is happening so this time we are saying okay uh, uh you execute if i don't provide anything just execute in the chrome and local host okay so let's see if it's able to execute or not okay so let's see run as test on this one okay so if you go here let's see so right now let's refresh this let's see see this chrome is now you see it's not enabled anymore because it's in use right now okay it's in use okay see let's refresh it again now it's, it's not in use okay again it's not in use so maybe our execution is done see our execution is done if you go to the test ng report let's refresh this project refresh it so if you go to the test output here this index.html let's open this okay web browser so three test let's uh, open it in the browser okay let's open it in the browser let's... i go here i just provide this path i want to see okay three tests okay okay so everything is passed actually right see everything is passed so yeah so everything is passed but uh, let's do one more thing so if you see right it's saying google result google result search day something is not giving the correct uh, test name if you see here uh the test name is what google search test one right it's not saying which test is passed it's instead it's saying the function name right so we will see how we can resolve this but now we are able to execute our script in the selenium docker that is the good thing now friends suppose now i have only two or three tests right let's have some more tests so what i will do okay i have one more test let me create some more test here so control v control v control v so i have some more tests okay i'm just copying the same test because i don't i just want to explain you the docker so i'm not much worried about this selenium thing right now so i'm just doing that five so i have five tests uh, they are doing say different different things okay now okay now let's run it again and now we will go to our uh, grid let's see okay this is in use but uh, okay hmm it's in use but right now it's in use because we have three or four test cases right that's why it's in use okay let's refresh it now it's done so if you go here it's very fast now six is done so friends suppose you have 100 tests right so it will be execute in one browser and it will take so much time so to avoid that what we can do is like okay we can run it in the parallel right so i think we have uh, so what i can do is okay parallel here p a r d t l e l parallel is tests p a t l s tests okay so now let's run it in the parallel let's see what is happening so till now we don't we are not running so it's running one by one now i'm going to run in the parallel run as test in this one so that you know when i run it in parallel maybe it will be fast so let's see what is happening now see now since we have only one chrome it's executing and the four request it's waiting for the slot to be free now if you refresh see now three is still waiting if you have 100 test it's still waiting see so now our test is done now friends so what we can do now so we can create more instance of the chrome browser right we can create more container because we have docker right so what i will do is like okay um docker compose up minus d just i will say minus minus scale right scale 4 uh let me see um so we just want to increase the browser right so we have to 
just provide this command just give me a second friend so I'm just trying to figure it out oh yeah minus my chrome is equal to free right so we have to say chrome ch r o m e chrome is 4 so we are creating 4 instances let's see now so everything is up to date and then chrome 2 chrome 3 chrome 4 now we have 4 chromes are up and running if you go here and you refresh it see now we have 4 now if i execute this taste ng again run as uh, taste ng so and now if i go here and i refresh it see now one two three four everything is in use but only one taste is waiting so now it's done it's more quicker we cannot uh, you know see it here because we have a very less number of test case but if you have more test case then it will be really useful and it will be very quick so that's how we can use this selenium grid so right now friends we are executing our test from local right and we have base test we have provided the host and everything and then using this remote web driver we are ex executing our test in the docker dockerized containers we have created the container for uh, chrome and firefox and we are executing there right right now so let's see how in the next video how we can create image of our selenium project we will create image out of our project we will deploy it to the docker hub and then instead running it from our local machine our local system we will run it directly from the docker okay so that's what we want to learn in the next video thank you friends i think you are enjoying the video just make sure like please uh, just subscribe to my video and if you have any question just put in the comment thank you very much